We are here at Pinehurst. We have six golf.com staffers and we have 10 golf courses. And it's time to play the Pinehurst Wheel of Courses! Who wants to give it a spin? Mark Spurry. Jay Marvelous. All right, on the first team. Number two! Oh! <laughs> How lucky. Holy cow, what a sniper spin. <laughs> I've never played number two. I think number two has been a bucket list course for people for a long time. I mean, it's literally a major championship test. Ready, Claire? Right, One, two, three. Number oh, one. Number one. All right. We are number one. The fairway blends into like this really fluffy rough that's super easy to hit from. If you're here with your family, you have to play Pinehurst number one. It is different in just about every way than number two. Maybe spin it, yeah, spin it the other way. Oh. A gentle spin, <laughs> a gentle spin. John like has that. an agenda. Oh, yeah, that was well Number five. five. All right, wow. let's do it. There's a lot of subtle sloping around here and a lot of short dog legs with some pretty big slope. It's got a different feel from, you know, across the railroad there. More of a meandering neighborhood pinesy course. It's a fun little golf course, that's for sure. Only rule you guys need to know, team net birdie. So mark up your scorecard, keep track. If you make par for birdie, it's a point. We're gonna come together at the end. Whoever has the most points wins, and the rest of you guys buy us dinner. <gasps> Let's do it. Let's go to work. Welcome to number two. Is my game ready? I don't know, but I'd like to think I could make a couple net birdies out there to help my squad to a win. Every good round at number two starts with a hearty meal of pulled pork. <laughs> Number two. Our vibes, how's morale? <laughs> morale is high. D and I both found the fairway off the tee. When you're playing a bucket list course like this, is there a better feeling than when you just get off the tee in the fairway? Luckily, the greens are pretty easy here too, so I think once you get it in the fairway, you're totally set. Get lucky. Yes, you might hit Connor. Gun in for the cameraman. Ooh, crispy! <laughs> Jess, we gotta look. We gotta look. First, well, first, nice, first. D. That's what I like to see. That was pretty good. I had a lot of motivation to not go in this thing. Woo! That's one birdie for the team. Yes, Jess. <laughs> Look at that, she's on the board. Hell yes. Yes. Yes! Nothing better than a birdie is a net bird. <laughs> you just got two of them on one hole. I mean, when people think of Donald Ross as like, what, maybe the most prodigious American golf architect, they think Pinehurst number two. So we are playing at his home. Like this is his backyard and it's very fitting that then this is his home. <laughs> his literal backyard. This is his house, this is his backyard. We decided to bust out our foresight, get some numbers on D because he's been smashing the driver the last couple holes. 156 ball speed, Bryson would be very disappointed with me, <laughs> but it's in the fairway. I am loving Pinehurst number one. We just played nine holes. I contributed two net birdies, first two holes. Net birdie number one. And we're off. We've not played well after that. Claire has contributed two net birdies in the last three holes. Yes. Bang! I got off to a slow start, but I'm feeling good now. We're on <laughs> different trajectories. We're having fun. Me and, me and Claire are having fun. Rogers. Heat seeking missile. Hurry up. Get up. In on the green. That'll work. We got a chance. That a girl. Let's go. This course is way more modest than number two. The entire outer sides of the course are just pine straw, so it's kind of wide open. You can spray it a little bit and still be fine. I will say the trees, you've been in some tree action. <laughs> you've had some decent outs, but it, he's not making it easy on himself no. by being in the trees. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. 
Hold on. Hell yeah. Here's your tea. Teammate. Teammate. Folks. Natural birdie, who needs a net birdie when you can make it all natural? <laughs> So I think the difference between a three handicap and a 15 handicap is I hit every single fairway on the front nine except for nine. Z was spraying it everywhere, yet he beats me by 10. More importantly, we got three ticks on the front. Not great, however, we just started on the back. Three on 10, I was stroking. I think I get two for a birdie net eagle. We gotta double check on the rules there. I don't want a rules controversy. No rules controversy. And Z also net stroked birdie. there and made par net birdie. So that's a good start. Um, yeah. we're, gonna make, we're gonna make a couple birdies here too. Yeah. So. Sixty degree from the pine straw. Feel a little crafty with it, but looks like a pretty good one. Zephyr, good putt, man. We needed that one. Put it on the scorecard. We just finished the par three 14th hole here on Pinehurst number five, and it's called the Cathedral Hole. Not because there's a church around, but rather because these towering pines look like cathedral organ pipes. My grandma, not a huge golfer, played the organ in church for years. She loved this golf hole. My driver is an absolute weapon. Outlawed in 30 states. <laughs> that was nasty. Just finished here on Pinehurst number five. I think we had a good day. We finished with nine. Uh, we had a cluster there right after the turn. Might be good enough. We're gonna go into the deuce right now and watch Dylan and Jess finish up on number two. Hopefully they beat daylight. We had all kinds of optimism for We're the day. High. <laughs> we had one more birdie on number five. That got us to four net birdies. And that is where we still stand here on the 14th fairway. <laughs> Reality Fairway. set in, closed in on us very quickly. The ball has just been rolling. I've spent a lot of time watching <laughs> yeah. my ball roll. We've been in a lot of sand, Off the front a lot of, the of green, scrub. Left side of the green, back mm -hmm. of the green. We've got a second wind going. The last couple holes, I feel like we're feeling the flow. I'm in the I fairway. I used the foresight on my tee shot on this one. Yes, Woo. look at that thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like right next to Dylan, which is saying a lot. I know the pace slows down on the U.S. Open golf course, so I actually get more golf in. I played 18 with Claire. We zoomed around in three hours or so, uh, and we found our friends here on the 14th tee of number two, so we're going to get another five holes in. Number five. Yes, be on it. Stay right there. Stay. Yes, it did. Stay, stay, stay. Yes. What a shot. Thank you. In that good light, too. Oh, wow. This is the true magic hour. We both agree that we're evening golf people. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite time to play. No problem. <laughs> Propped up on some pine needles. Sit down. Sit on it. Mm. Mark's birdie. Go in. Uh -huh. Good putt. It's Punch the kitty that I wanted. Hey, here, finish it off. Finish it off. Goose. <laughs> hey, you've beaten us. You've beaten us. All right, we've, got the, we've got the lead. Kind of a fabulous finish here under any circumstances, but especially now you have the lights on. Get the last tee time of the day. That's the key. Mm -hmm. How many did you make? What do you guys? Well, no, all together we made five. Five? <laughs> you guys have five, Dylan, Jess? What do we have? We had six. six. Six? And we were claiming, we were like, six! six. Wait until we six. How many do we have on the front nine? Three. Three. How many do we have on 10 and 11 combined? Uh, three. Three. How many do we have total? Nine. Nine! Oh, oh, congrats, wow. guys. Hey, you guys are nice beers. Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Real of course. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, we I probably could have done it. We probably would have had more if we played number two. We probably would have had more. Good playing job out there. Good playing. Awesome.